All right, aloha, good morning. I've uh, been looking for some good Nissan Titan videos, Gen 1, uh, just to get some ideas for going a little bit further on uh, what I've done to mine, uh, but it's not a lot out there, uh, especially with Gen 2 online. Uh, people have just kind of forgotten about Gen 1 Titans. But I wanted to show mine because I'm still deeply into it. I love it. I love the Gen 1s. Um, I would never sell this truck until it just is, you know, blows a head gas or something is beyond repair uh, as far as what its value would be. But uh, maybe not even reach that point <laughs> because my philosophy is does it cost me $3,000 to get a new truck or can I fix this and have everything that I know that I like and love about it? Uh, so I'm going to show you mine. Boom. So I'm going to start outside. This is a uh, Gen 1 2007 Nissan Titan XE. XE is their workhorse model. You can see I've blacked out the logo in the front and added the sticker. I do have some new race tow hooks that are going to replace these. Um, I cleaned them up, sanded them down, filed them because they get pretty rusty. You can see, and then I painted them. Uh, but that paint's coming off already. I've got lights to replace the plastic piece here. I've got a grill insert and a light bar for up front. And I've got some new grill inserts coming that match the grill insert for down here to replace these three pieces. And they retain, somehow retain the logo. I don't know if it goes over it. It might just go over it. I don't even know. Got aftermarket lights. I'll show you what they look like. Not as impressive as they are at night. And I've got aftermarket tail lights. See if they're showing. Oh, boom. I have also put in LED lights to replace, like you can see right here. And the reverse lights. So those are the lights. I found this little sticker to go over the to go over that it says Titan. This is kind of money. Just little things. Um, yeah, we'll go inside in a little bit. This is a really pretty blue, although it's dirty um, because I do use this truck and it's my everyday driver. Uh, it's, it's that blue pearl. And when it gets in the sun, uh, when I first saw this truck for sale, I thought it was black. <laughs> and I got close to it. I'm like, that thing's not black at all. All right, so you can tell I have a leveling, leveling kit. It just raises about two inches in the front. This is the second kit that I put on. It's a coilover pro comp kit. Uh, sorry, right there, space is kind of tight. So the front coil over the back, it's just the shocks. They've been replaced too, pro comp, much more heavy duty. Got 20 inch rims. I've had these rims for a long time. I put this sticker on here just to kind of give it a factory look. This is just a gel sticker, but it fit in perfectly. Um, I also put this Nismo sticker by the valve caps valve stems so I can find that real fast it's got about a four inch maybe three three four inch dish so I thought it would or lip I thought it would look cool with that um, these are it's interesting that these have these bolts because the grill that I've got also has these bolts and I'll show you that in a second tires aren't that great they work and they are expensive even though they're not the best I'm going to replace these with Pirelli's. These are just, uh, you know, cheap Aturos, probably Japanese rubber, I mean Chinese rubber. Uh, it's just not the best, but it's a 285-55R20, and they're just not that sticky. They're good if you want your tires to hold up and last. You don't have to replace them all the time. Um, I painted these, so I took these off and cleaned them up and painted them this darker, uh, kind of like a gunmetal. Came with the running boards, which have come in handy. Yeah, um, there's a couple things wrong with the Titan. You can see here I've got a bent rear bumper where I ran into a pole on the right, on the passenger side. 
I also kind of plucked out the chrome on here because it was kind of plain just being all one color the logo here I bought this truck in Hawaii and shipped it here so that's why you see Sunset Beach because we live at Sunset you see now I'm rocking the uh, veteran plates spark oak tag and it also came with a trailer hitch which is nice the receiver locked onto the frame came with the bed liner it's got the window in the back which is kind of money i'm a knife thrower axe thrower <laughs> so i'll let people know and it's just got the 5.6 on this side it does have backup sensors that kind of go crazy when they get wet <laughs> And this is kind of the profile of it. I keep it covered. I keep it under this awning. I do run 93 octane from Mobile One. I'm a supporter of Mobile One because of uh, American Le Mans series racing. All right, so let's move to the interior. I haven't done a lot to the interior other than um, change out these pedals. These are aluminum uh, pedals. I'm sure they're just knockoff. They're not really from Nismo. I don't think that they make that kind of stuff. I've got a subwoofer, so that controls the uh, bass volume for the uh, two, 12, uh, two 10 inch kickers underneath the back seat. I've got a um, amp right here that I just got. I replaced the old amp. It's a little bit smaller, but it's got more kick. I did just take it into the Nissan and they gave me the 144 times three, 144, 144, 144, but you know about that. You probably don't know nothing. Um, this is another knockoff steering wheel. I am gonna replace this with a deep dish, four inch deep dish, uh, 350 millimeter um, Momo. It's just $300, so, you know, it's Christmas time coming up, so I'm waiting on that. Got an owl feather. There's lots of owls where I live. I'm in the woods. See, we's in the woods. We're in the woods, folks. Uh, I did just recently replace this cover. If you're a Titan owner, you know that these covers crack uh, from the heat, and mine was cracked back here. A lot of people's gets cracked up front because there's they're shorter. I'm six, almost 6'2", six so the seat's all the way back. Do have a racing seat. Uh, it's not an expensive seat, um, but it's a bucket, bucket seat. So that's how I roll, strapped in. Um, I just bought these for $11 and just changed out the housing and put the electronics from the original one in there. Worked fine. And I also did buy a new, a new set of keys um, from Nissan, just because mine were getting old and, and, and it broke right here, so I couldn't put on my keychain. So I replaced that. Um, here's my throw knives. This is what I like to throw. Dragon shit. So we're mission ready around here. You saw the vet plates. Um, I can throw this knife pretty well, buck knife. So I can throw this, um, because the handle I can, this is my, this is really just for throwing. Shit pops off. You gotta understand, man, once you're a warrior, you're always a warrior. You don't need it, but it's kind of like four wheel drive. It's like, you don't need it until you do. And if you do, if you do, you wish to God you had it if you don't. Um... This is a little German Makarov. Give the bullets room to breathe. Okay. Um, carry my gloves. Carry some smells. Got a skinny knife. I got some new Velcro for this pad. It does come off a little bit. Skinny knife. 
What else we got in here? Oh, we got, oh, what you know about these welding goggles? Some rope. More rope. Grip strength. I do martial arts, jujitsu, and Muay Thai, so I work on my grip strength. Usually put my water bottle right here. Keep that open. Put all that back later. Yeah, I got, you know, these are just aftermarket. The originals wore out. I do have the originals in the back, the floor mats, but yeah, these are the second set of aftermarket um, all purpose floor mats. So it's pretty stock back here. I have a uh, ille uh, illegal tent on the front, but they're not as dark as the back, so they kind of they kind of give it a legal look. But even though these are illegal, but the you know the cops think, oh, okay, I can tell the difference, so they're probably they're probably legal, but they're not. They're and then my front windshield is tinted. Um, it's the lightest tint, you know. It's like the clear one of the clearer tints that they have, so it's not recognizable. But it does have a layer and you can see it's it's hard to see in there like when, when when we're driving and it's bright out it's hard to tell if it's me driving or my wife driving there's the back of the race seat got my tools um under here is the box and this box is upside down so the subwoofers are basing out the ground that's just how it's designed still mission ready well, let's see what we got. I'll show you. Why not? You know I'm going to watch these videos of mine. Ooh. Velcro is effective. Right. Never know when you might want to go shooting. Missing ready. And we got the tripod if we need to shoot long distance. I have been through special forces training. Pretty good shot. I've been shooting my whole life. Yes, we're rolling. Mission ready. Mission ready. All right. Other than that, inside, I don't think that there's really anything else to show. I do have some more LED lights to like replace all these stock lights. Just haven't done it. It's in. It's in here. Oh, I will show you these. You know when you might need some gloves. Leather gloves. Not the work gloves. Alright, so I'll show you inside. The engine. Stock battery. It's a new battery from 2019. This summer, have painted the engine cover, painted some of these other covers in here. Um, I have a full Flowmaster with um, JBA headers. I don't know if I can even get down in there. Yeah. Well, I could show you the NK, NK, NGK ignition coils right there. Eight of them. And performance headers. I'll have to get under for that. I have power aid uh, throttle body spacer, which is why this is bumped out. It's underneath the uh, air intake. The air intake uh, is also outfitted with the mass flow air sensor. The filter itself is blocked off just to kind of um, get it, keep it clean, keep it dry. That's the big thing, is it's just to keep it dry. That's really money. Because as you can see, it gets dirty in here. Uh, we've got Super Chip. It is programmed for the track only. The wide open throttle is uh, engaged, so it, the wide open throttle is on. And the uh, top speed, the rev limiter, is off. Uh, what else? Um, the NKG spark plugs have all uh, the spark plugs have all been replaced with Performance uh, NGK. NGK. Sorry, I have dys mild dyslexia sometimes. Yeah, I think that's about it on the inside. Um, 
I think these things start out with around 330 horsepower. I would say this one's over 400 by this point. Um, here's the exhaust. Pretty big Flowmaster into uh, it's basically a two in one. Let me see if I can get the headers. Yike! Ugh, they're there. It's hard to see. I need a light. Okay. And I got them coming out the side, which is different because when I bought it, it had uh, aftermarket exhaust coming out the back. Now these are not big old burly three inch, but they sound really good. I'll show you. Excuse me, like two and a half inch, I think. Always let your electronics warm up a little bit. All right, you ready? Hold it out here. Last thing I have on here is a uh, Gary Thunder Pratt hologram, fuel cell hologram. You put it on the fuel tank and it uh, basically structures your gas, kind of like structured water, structures your gas and cleans out your gas, which in turn keeps your engine running nicely. Hear that? You can hear the um, air coming through, listen. AC works, everything is working. Actually, no, everything is not working. I did, I am getting some stuff done. Um, the four wheel drive is not working because of the electronics. So it's got some stuff that needs to be replaced. I'm doing that tomorrow at the dealer. Don't be afraid to take your car back to the dealer. They will hook it up, especially if you gain a relationship with them. They will hook you up. They like working on these old cars. They like seeing people that take care of them, appreciate them. So I'm gonna take care of mine and wash it. I'm gonna pull out the pressure cleaner, the mild pressure cleaner, not the blow your cement off of your house pressure cleaner. Boom, boom. Yeah, that's about it. Get the Sparco. Letting people know, just like, you can't even hardly see it because it's kind of right here. Um, let's see. So, here's some lights, fog lights, smoked out fog lights that I'm going to put in. I have a light bar that's going to go in the lower grill. Right here, I think it's 21 inch. And then the grill that, well the lower, the lower part doesn't really have a grill, it's just got that divider. This is what's gonna go in the lower part. And then I have the upper grill on order, it's coming. I'm gonna attempt to install this light bar over this, so I might have to ha cut some holes in it but I want the light bar to be on the lower end and, and because of the length, I figured it would kind of fit nicely. I have space on each side. I might even put it behind it because it'll shine right through it and do it incognito. It's just a matter of having enough room. And then I got this, which is kind of gimmicky, but I think it will look pretty cool when I get the new grill. This lights up. So I was gonna put this, since I'm blacked out on the uh, logo, I was gonna put this somewhere in the front. Like this goes down here, and the, like I said, there's not really a, a grill down there, just this thing that just kind of 
keeps you from reaching in there and grabbing stuff, but doesn't really do too much. So if I can recess the light back in there a little bit, put the grill in front, I think that would be money as hell. And then I'll change out these three and maybe put this one somewhere over here. Something like that. But when once those three get changed out too, that'll be pretty cohesive. I'm gonna wrap the hood again. I had the hood wrapped, just the hood in, in um, carbon fiber. I'm gonna wrap it probably in black. Uh, just to protect it, we here in Florida, there's lots of bugs. And you can see the roof is wrapped in carbon fiber. It's just again, to protect the paint. And these things tend to leak through the roof into the uh, seat belts. And the other thing that I've got wrong with it, there's only two things that I can think of that are wrong with it right now. So I hope I just didn't dox myself with my plate. That's all right. You guys can figure out who I am. Uh, there's condon. If you got condensation, you got a Titan right under here. It's from the AC. And what happens is, is you've got some lines in front of this wheel well, foot well, sorry, this foot well, that um, they, they, they come down and then they shoot across and then they go back down. And where they shoot across, th this part gets clogged and, and a hole will form right here. And uh, if it is completely clogged, then everything will just drain out and come right down into this footwell. So they made a kit because Nissan has seen that this is such a problem. They made a kit that, that does not snake like that. It just kind of goes straight down. So it, it, it doesn't take away from the power of gravity <laughs> or magnetism in order to drain the water coming out of the AC condenser. So that's pretty much it. This is, like I said, 07 Titan XE. Um, it's always stuff that you can do to these things. A lot of fun to be had. Fits six people with the middle console like it is. So with four kids, it's perfect for us. Um, we do have an SUV that'll fit seven. I have my, my Porsche. Um, Doxing my plates again. <laughs> That's all right. My Porsche uh, Turbo S 88. 88 Turbo S. And all the stuff that I'm putting in my truck is sitting on my uh, wagon, BMW 5 Series wagon, 2000 um, M Sport wagon with the BBC rims. Doing a little excavating on the yard. We're gonna add an addition here, over here on this side of the house. And the Titan, like I said, it stays under this because I've got the garage full and it's too big for it anyways, but we're gonna have a carport over here where we've cleared out some trees uh, that will fit not only two cars very comfortably, but uh, I can go up with a lift and put my uh, sports cars, smaller cars up above and raise them up. So, I guess that's it. Nissan Titan. Enjoy. I'd love to see more videos of people that are silly enough to do all the stuff that I do to mine. And um, thanks for watching.